Welcome to another episode of Why Am I Always Sick? What's up guys? Uh, last week I filmed a video for you guys. Check out this story, it's awesome. And I took out the SD card and I hit it so I can go and edit it later over the weekend and post it up for you. Well, I hide things so well that I can't even find it myself. And believe me, you don't want to watch that video anyways because last week I was really, really, really sick. And um, went to the doctor and I got prescribed to some stuff. I guess uh, the situation is that I got in a bad situation that my flu allergies and cold symptoms are all like together right now and have an infection. So now I gotta take some of these pills to feel better. And last week I was, yeah, I was, I don't even know what I was trying to do. I don't know why I was trying to film a video because I was half of the time like just drugged up. Anyways. Before we start, let's take some of these pills. Ugh. All right, hope you guys had a good week. I did as well, and those drugs are gonna kick in in a little bit. But for now, you're probably looking at my tank like, what the heck happened? So I'm gonna tell you what this is. It's not what it seems like. I didn't abandon my tank or anything, even though it looks like I abandoned my tank. But this, right here, is a learning opportunity for you guys. I left this tank two weeks uncleaned. All I did was filled up the water for the auto top off. Otherwise, didn't touch the glass, didn't touch anything, because I wanna show you how I clean my tank. And this is pretty extreme because, I mean, I wouldn't even risk this because your corals can die. You can have a coral, you know, just crashes one after another. Um, you could just destroy some of your LPS and things like that, but yeah, I took a risk and um, I was like, you know what? This would be a pretty cool video for people to see because people, you know, tend to say that reef keeping is very hard. Uh, and I can tell you that people who make it hard, make it hard on themselves. They don't know how to properly do it. They don't know the easy way to do it, but reef keeping anyone can do. So as you can see right now, my glass is all covered up algae my corals are still alive and I'm gonna show you how to clean it in a few days because right now we're gonna do a video on mixing calcium chloride the other video we did was soda ash so I figured it's only proper to do the next video which is calcium chloride mix same thing I use bulk resupply mix um, I'll let you see what it looks like and this is what I personally use. I am not endorsed by them or anything like that, but this is the product right here. Check it up yourself. Um, and I mix it myself versus buying the other stuff. Oh, well, looks like it's got a little crowd in there, so I'll put that away in a bit. Uh, but what it is, is it's just powder substance, as you can see, and you'll need RODI water. So I already put in the mix right here for you guys, two and a half cup of that stuff solution into this one gallon and then I got some RODI water which I will try to carefully top it off without spilling it everywhere oh nice because this tunnel right here it falls off pretty easily now I know when I was mixing uh, alkalinity uh oh this is scary it looks like it's gonna fall off uh, when I was mixing alkalinity I can tell you that the um, chemical and the water mixed and once it mixed there was a little, um, it got a little hot, you know, when I was just stirring it around. Better keep an eye on this, make sure I don't overflow it. But yeah, it got, the bottle got really hot. Um, not bottle, but this uh, gallon container got really hot. Felt like it was gonna, you know, burn the plastic, but ended up being okay. Just wanna let you know that, you know, if you do mix some of the chemicals and you feel, uh oh, and you feel that the temperature gets hot a bit, Worry not, my friend, because that is normal for the chemical reaction. Now for this, let's close the cap here. Oh yeah, this does get warm too in the bottom. All right, so I filled up as much as I can, and I'm just gonna give it a nice shake. Look at my arm. Dude, I'm gonna get like some freaking muscles right after this. I'm gonna have some nice biceps. <laughs> Hey, there's my dog. What are you doing? Go pee. 
But yeah, so we just keep mixing this. Make sure that it's nice and fine. All right, so that's the thing. I'll mix it again after this video is over, but that's what you want to do. Uh, and I tend to mix the day before. So if I have like half of this left, this is gonna last me for like two weeks anyways. But on the safe side, I like to have stuff mixed and prepped up ready. So that's gonna be ready after night for usage. And yeah, I had to keep this video short because I am now drugged up. <laughs> I'm gonna go and take a little nap. This stuff makes me drowsy. Uh, it's nice seeing you guys again and I'm sorry I did not post a video last week because I like to hide things that 10 years down the road I'll find later probably when I'm trying to move something. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys had a good week. Continue to reef geek my friends and uh, yeah, this is going to be a good video for you guys. Especially for those of you that have really nasty tanks and ask and wonder how we can clean it up. You know, how, you know, some people they just, when they get into this dirty mess, they lose motivation but don't worry because I'm in the same situation as you are right now I'm gonna show you the process of how I clean things and uh, you know show you that that stuff happens and you can always turn your tank around anyways till then you guys see you guys next week have a good week and always keep briefing I am not falling asleep